writers do. Ah, the email. Trent, we really like your screenplay. Of course you did. Unfortunately, at this time, we have decided against going forward with it. It's a brilliant and engaging story, but it's not quite in line with what we represent here at DreamWorks. It's not quite in line with what we represent. It's not quite in line with what we represent. What the fuck do you represent at DreamWorks then, huh? Shitty fucking movies, The Peacemaker with George Clooney, huh? Shrek. Hey, another rejection for the rejection pile. You know what, you fuckers don't even deserve me. I've written a pile of fucking scripts over there. I wrote Killing Mommy, I wrote Killing Daddy, I wrote Hell Asylum. I also wrote Courtney Cox's directorial debut, Tall Hot Blonde. I directed Chop. I mean, shit, man, I won the audience award for writing and directing 68 Kill. I won another audience award for writing Cheap Thrills. I wrote The Toxic Avenger Part 4, Citizen Toxie. Legendary. And who could forget fucking dead girl? Put zombie raping on the map? Fuck man, I wrote a fucking video game that grossed half a billion dollars! Half a billion with a B! Not to mention my illustrious career as an actor. I mean, who could forget Uchu Jin from Outer Space or Easter Bunny Kill Kill, Killjoy 2, Killjoy 3. Killjoy Goes to Hell, Killjoy Psycho Circus. <sighs> Terra Firmer, The Ghouls. You mean to tell me that's not worth something to DreamWorks? Whatever, I know I'm a good writer. The werewolf exposes the... Come in! Hey, what's up, man? Uh, hey, hey, Peter. What's going on, man? Nothing, I just wanted to pop by. I know you're busy, man. What's up? Did you get the new Metallica CD? Metallica. CD. Yeah, I don't know if you got the memo or not, but CDs are fucking whack, dude. Vinyl is where it's at. It looks better, it sounds better, and you know what? The Damned is a way better band than Metallica. And you should also know that that shirt is fucking bullshit, dude. All right, listen, pink pentagrams and turquoise skulls did not make you a man. You know what makes you a man? We do it every fucking week. I'll show you what makes you a man. Right here, right here. It's like this. One, two, three, four. That's what makes you a man? You should know this, Peter. What is it? What's wrong? I don't know, dude. I just feel kind of fucked up. I feel like I'm in like some kind of a creative slump. It's like I can't make stuff. I can't finish stuff. I understand. And I understand there's only one thing that can fix that. You and me fucking lifting some iron at the gym, guy. Let's go. All right, dude. I'm on board. Uh, heads up. Remember, my shoulder's kind of fucked up, so I'm not going to be able to go ape shit with the weights or anything. I, I want to hurt myself more. I'm a little bit busy today, actually, so maybe we could take a rain check on that gym thing. You said the gym was going to help with my creative slump. I don't want to go by myself. You know what? I got something for you. Yeah. This will do it. Here you go. Mrs. Bordy? What the fuck is this? I have solutions for your problems. Right there on my card. You know, I actually feel a lot better just talking to you, man. I'll check her out, though. Thanks, man. Goodbye. Forever. <laughs> Been here, like, how am I not like the big producer on Avatar yet? <sighs> Gotta read this fucking Batman script. They want me to be Penguin. They want like a younger Penguin. It's fine. I got the Ray Bans. I got the fucking Hollywood hat. <sighs> Spielberg. See you, dude. It's just running all these big shots. Sam. Are you Sam Edison? Hey, man. What's up? What can I do for you? I love you in that one show where you're killing all the people and then you get killed. Yeah, which one, man? There's like a hundred of them. Oh, uh, the one with the zombies and the blood and the guns and everything? Cool, so you've seen my reel. Uh, I don't have time for this, man. I'm in kind of a fucking creative slump, so... I mean, you wouldn't understand. You don't understand Hollywood. You're a fucking loser. No, dude, I totally understand. I just got out of a creative slump. All I did was talk to a friend of mine, but... You know what, man? Here, I want you to have this. Mrs. Bordy. All right, man, whatever. Uh, I gotta go, man. Goodbye. Hey, man, I was gonna ask you a couple questions I about acting. I said fucking goodbye. Uh, all right, man, later.
Alright, here I am, downtown. Gotta find Mrs. Bordy. I'm in the perfect fucking spot here downtown LA. This is such a fucking gem of a place. Okay, this is Mrs. Bordy. I mean, this must be the fucking place. Mrs. Bordy's place. Knock, knock. Is Mrs. Bordy home? Where is that fucking bitch? I'm so sick of people asking me to get an autograph. Hello, Mrs. Bordy? Oh, uh, where the fuck are you? I'm gonna need you to change into this. Take off your glasses, bitch. Just put on the shirt. Oh, no. If you can help me get out of my creative slump, you can shit all you want out of your dress. I don't care. Good. Yes. Then I will just sit here in my shit. I've made you some poisonous drug tea. Now you're asking me to drink this poisonous drug tea? I can't trust you. I'm just kidding around. Fine, I guess I'll taste some of this poison tea. Oh, yeah, it definitely tastes like funny, like you put a spell on it. I'm not a witch. Do get me my broom if you would. <laughs> the end. Ha! Damn! Another screenplay completed and all but sold. Who would have thought? Werewolves with time bombs attached to their chests. And that Mrs. Bordy, I tell you what, you feed her, and she takes care of business for you. Thank you, Hollywood. Hey, come in. What's up, man? Peter? What's up, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? I thought you went to go see Mrs. Bordy. Talking to you totally helped me out, man. Fixed my fucking creative slump. It's all good, dude. I didn't even need to go see her. No, it's a good thing, because she was totally going to kill you. You tried to have me murdered? Kinda? Why? <sighs> Look, man. It's about the gym, okay? Fitness 19? Yeah. I go to the gym so I can feel like a man. And I don't feel like a man when I've got this little my shoulder hurts guy tagging along. Why don't you just talk to me about it then? Have a conversation or text me or something or fucking ghost me even. Uh, I just figured it was easier to have you killed. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. What did you do with that business card I gave you? You are not going to believe this. I was walking down the street in L.A. and I bumped into Sam Edison. He said he was in a creative slump, though, and I don't know, I just wanted to help him out, so I gave him the card. I gotta go. This is just too weird. Love a good creative slump. What the fuck? I guess I'm paralyzed. I want to be famous. Oh, you're not gonna make it. Get your head on me, fucking bitch. You're gonna die soon anyway. Dude, dude, Sam is one of my favorite actors to work with. You just fucking killed him. Yeah, it's more like you killed him. I didn't know she was a fucking murderer. Yeah. Point taken. Listen, man, I was gonna ask you for a little bit of writing advice. I don't know if you... You know what, I'm, I'm a little bit busy today. All right, man, I'll catch you later. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, dude, you forgot your hat. Hey.
God damn, that kidney tastes like shit. Oh well.